So here is the LEM LA205-S current sensor, Swiss made. Now this thing can measure a maximum of 200 amperes, both DC, AC and well RMS. So to power on this thing, you need a DC power supply of 12 to 15 volts and it consumes say around 20 to 25 milliamps. So here is my current measuring setup. Now these are four LIFEPO4 cells connected in parallel. Now each one of these is like 3.2 volts and that's the copper bus bar. And I have four blocks of these. This is a 0 0.1 ohm 50 watt resistor. And I've connected this to a heat sink. I've connected these two in series and the connections go to a MCB. And four of such blocks are in parallel. And from the MCB, the wire goes through the current sensor and back to the negative terminal. Here is the current sensor and it has just three terminals, power ground and output. This is a 12 volt 10 amps power supply. And let's power this thing on and power on the load so that we can draw some amps from the battery. So now coming to the serial monitor, in the first column we have the analog voltage coming out from the current sensor. Next up we have the amps drawn. So this is the live amperage, ampere reading. Next up we have the cell voltage. In the fourth and fifth column we have ampere seconds consumed till now. And the fifth column, ampere hours consumed till now. And the last column is just a sweet timer. So here is the data sheet of the LEM LA205S current sensor and here we have the CAD models. So if you come down to the connection diagram, you will come to know that there are four connections. Now you don't need to worry about the fourth pin as it's a no connection. So we can keep it floating. Now pin number one is positive supply which is VCC which, needs to, which you need to connect to a 12 volt or a 15 volt DC supply. Pin number three is the negative which is the can also ground it to the power supply actually and what's interesting about pin number two is it gives you a current output now there may be other lem current sensors which directly give you a voltage output so you can directly put it inside your uh, arduino a pin a0 but here we need a measuring resistance and which we need to connect to ground so where do we actually connect the analog pin a0 well it will come out of this point and it will go to your Arduino pin A0. Now this measuring resistance should be of 68 ohms only and this way we can convert the current output to the voltage output. So here is the Arduino code and the link to this code is in the description below. So now the main goal of using a current sensor and logging the data is you should get uh, accurate values from the current sensor and for that you need to calibrate the current sensor. So considering the fact that your clamp meter gives you accurate values, we will be calibrating our current sensor based on our clamp meter values. So say for example I have connected uh, a load to my power supply or my cells or my batteries. And this is the sort of uh, clamp meter reading which I'm getting on my uh, clamp meter. The current reading I'm getting on my clamp meter. Say it's uh, 14 amps DC. So the corresponding analog value which I will receive from the current sensor will be somewhere around, uh, somewhere in this range of 0.49 to 0.52. And say for example, if I'm drawing, drawing 28 amps, then I will be receiving somewhere around this value. So if you are smart enough to detect this, then we have a multiplication factor of somewhere around 27 or 28, 
so if you multiply your analog analog value you'll get the actual amps in on the clamp meter now we advise this is the analog voltage and not the raw analog value your raw analog value will be from 0 to 1023 but this is the scaled down value which I have scaled it from 0 to 0 and 1023 to 5 volts so this is the sort of calibration which goes around now next up uh, we have some time variables say for example a second is 1000 milliseconds you multiply that by 60 you get a minute and this goes on for an hour and a day so the reason we have we are doing this is we need to log the current which has been pushed out of the power supply and has been passed on to your load or say for example if you are charging a battery we need to see how much amps have been already pushed inside the cells or the batteries so for that we need to log the current at each and every second so for that we have these time variables next up we have the total amps the ampere seconds and the ampere hours so this gives you the true value of the power which has been pushed or pulled out of your power supply coming to watch setup we'll just uh, declare this amp second amp hours to zero and we'll start the serial interface with serial.begin now here is one of the most powerful function in arduino which is the millis which starts grabbing the time and stores it in this variable as soon as this void loop begins and here is a calculation of grabbing the days hours minutes and seconds now i'm going to only use the seconds and minutes because i'm going to log for say half an hour or 45 minutes max but but you can use hours and days as per your convenience now i've connected a current sensor on the lem current sensor to pin a0 which is which can be also termed as pin number 14 if you're dealing with arduino and the cell voltage reading of the LFE PO4 cell is connected to A1 which I have been storing in the variable float. Now we advised uh, whatever analog values which you receive uh, on the analog input pins of your Arduino have some offset and they may not be as accurate or as perfect as your current or current meter your clamp meter or your uh, multimeter so you need to calibrate them as per your multimeter values so here i will add some offset next up here is the calibration as per the clamp meter current values so i have the amps from which by which i'm getting the multiplication uh, factor of 28 which we received over here by getting the clamp meter readings so i'll just multiply the current sensor analog voltage by 28 and i'll get the amps in real time now the total amps is plus equal to the amps so total amps is equal to amps plus total amps and the amp sec is the total amps till now and we have the ampere hour which is total amps divided by 3600 and we repeat this loop every one second now this delay of one second is very important because we are calculating on the basis of amp sec so we will accept this reading and calculate our amp sec every one second because it's ampere seconds and this is just the printing format so i'm printing all the values uh, which calculated just for debugging purposes and in the end having minutes I'll print a colon and then the seconds and I'll give you, give you a classic delay of uh, one second now I forgot to explain one thing over here which is the read cell voltage so this is a function which I made and which is one of the easiest functions so now I've called the number 14 over here so it will just pass the value 14 and it will say float read voltage analog read 14 so whatever is connected on pin number 14 which is a zero that time will be stored in this variable and you just calibrate it from let's say zero to one zero two three to zero 
to 5 volts and you just return that value which will be stored back in this variable so let me connect my Arduino and see how this thing goes so here we have the clamp meter and I have set it to the DC reading so I'm gonna just flip the switch of the MCB and we'll just clamp this clamp meter on the single wire which is coming out of the MCB now we are drawing somewhere around 28.4 amps 28 amps and it's going down so let's just check the same reading on our current sensor on our serial monitor here we go so the amps drawn is 29 